Good morning. Welcome to Pine Notes. This is Lisa and today we're doing an update on our July craft projects. If you're new to my channel, I want to welcome you. I am up to 90 subscribers and I couldn't be happier. Thank you for joining our crafting community and I look forward to hearing from you in the comments below. My first project I want to update you on is my mother's birthday handkerchief and I am doing a handkerchief crochet edges here and I touched briefly on that and I got two corners done. Now how my mother uses this is she sticks these corners up in the pockets of her purse and this sticks out. So for other outfit options I was thinking for the other two corners of doing an opposing color especially because I've got this wonderful mint back here which is also picked up in here so I'm thinking of doing either mint she's a redhead with green eyes so that that would be very nice or another uh, the slate blue right here so I'm, I'm going to think about that and I will try and videotape myself working the fan stitch and blanket stitch so you see how I create these now let's go on to the fan stitch speaking of fan stitch I updated all my poncho rectangles yes I have two here and I sewed in all my ends I am ready to go except where I need to join in yarn right here and I am making progress on this now my thought was because I'm on the fan stitch part of this and the fan stitch part of this I wanted to show you how doable the miniature crochet really is so I will begin showing you at the end of this video my fan stitch on my poncho and my fan stitch on my handkerchief I didn't realize until last night that that was the exact same process I used and this might be a little easier to see than a 1.5 millimeter crochet hook so look forward to that oh and I am so happy to get this off my hooks this is our shawl in the ball it is our ebb tide shadow ebb tide shawl done with two balls of a shawl in the ball and I'll insert pictures here so you can see it shawl is made with 58% cotton, 39% acrylic, and 3% other fab fiber. Now when I was finishing this yesterday it is a 90 degree day and this morning at 5 6 o'clock in the morning the humidity is so thick it's like cutting through pea soup. Now I remember my mother and grandmother saying that so that's what kind of humidity this is and this was a little hot to finish because it got a little large um, I'm absolutely pleased with the second ball the second ball did not have any manufacturer knots in it worked up very well um, as you can see from the picture I will get lots of wear out of this this fall and uh, I have a finished object for July already I am super super excited now I want to invite you to our crochet along happening July 25th through August 25th you can start emailing me your photos of your Christmas crafts you did this year during this time period I found my first project I am going to work on 
and this is Red Heart and this is LW4874 and it is a crochet Christmas stocking with fur. Now this will be my first Red Heart pattern but I'm sure very very familiar with crochet cables as my sweater that I'm working on here is done in this. Now as a beginner I don't have any crochet items for Christmas so I thought this would be perfect to do and get something crochet like in my Christmas decorations and it's also a stash buster for me. I will be using the yarn by Lion Brand called Heartland and why I love Heartland is because it is named after monuments and national parks in the United States. Now, King Canyon happens to be what also my large sweater is and I'm going for a natural look so I'm going to bring in Mammoth Cave and here's my two colors for the the stocking and um, it's a stash buster for me because I have a big one of this and I have extras of this so I am very excited that I finally picked my first project for our Christmas in July craft along and as you notice this has a little fur yep I have fur left over in my stash as well from one of the first fur hats I made so I think it goes really good with this mammoth cave and I'm going to be doing a very natural Christmas stocking and I will post all the details and the link to Red Heart below again it's Red Heart Fur Top Holiday Stockings and it's pattern LW4874 that's my first project for the Christmas craft along and my second project for our Christmas in July craft along that CAL 2016 is going to be a Christmas tree ornament as I mentioned before I'm a beginner and I have no ornament made out of crochet I'm also a bit of an up recycler I am going to make a Christmas tree wreath using items I have in my home already that would mean scraps of yarn it also means using my old water jug right there that blue part right there see or my old power aid or water bottle right there I think this one would be really nice because there's no jagged edges on it it's really smooth so use your recycled items to make a Christmas wreath. Now I have to admit this pattern is from December 2010. It is by a blog called Stitch Period Bake Period Run Period. So stitchbakerun.com and I picked up this pattern through Pinterest. I will leave my link below to my Pinterest account because of course I have a whole section on Christmas ideas to make. I invite you to check that out because that is where I picked up this pattern. And speaking of upcycling, if you're new to my channel, I make jams, tomato sauce, but I also make homemade laundry detergent. Yes, I will be doing that this week. I am almost out. I use this on our towels and my husband's work clothing. I am also interested in finding out how to make 
a homemade body wash and this is a bar of ivory. I happen to have a lot of extra of these. So if anybody knows a homemade recipe for body wash, I'd be more than welcome to looking at it and discovering something else to make homemade. So that's it for this hot week in July here in Ohio. I will list at the very end of this video my crochet for the handkerchief and the poncho doing the fan stitch. Just so you can see how this work is done and how easy it really is and gives a beautiful finish to anything you want to put this on. So I'll leave you here. I hope you're having a great week. And as always, thank you for watching, liking, and subscribing to my channel. This is Lisa from Pine.